How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to go under a contract uh, I'm on the Heartlands map and I'm going to do one called Cutting Losses which is a pretty simple one. You've got to go and rescue a truck and a trailer. For some reason, like in the top right hand corner it it's done it in, it must have done it in two stages so it's just like rescue the truck first and then it'll probably try and make you go back for the trailer so I just grabbed uh, both in one go. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, yeah, setting off from the Harvest Court uh, garage just gonna kind of cut along that way along the map just so I don't double back on myself. Uh, grab the yeah truck and the trailer and then I'm gonna take it to the warehouse which is kind of down the road from the uh, garage really. It's where you have to get like the metal beams and stuff to complete the garage in the first place. And uh, yeah for this one I'm gonna take I'm taking the Zix 605R and a goddamn horse obviously. Um, yeah I just I've gone through most trucks uh, now and just on this mission, like, I was considering going for like a proper rescue where uh, take like a big crane or something, hoist the uh, the truck and the trailer out of the. It's kind of like rolled off the edge of the road into sort of a swampy section. Um, but yeah, because there's no way. Like, if the truck and the trailer were still connected, you could kind of flip them back and tow them in one go. Uh, but because they are disconnected, you're going to have to attach the trailer to your own truck basically. So if I took something with a big crane. Uh, then I'd also have to take another vehicle with a saddle high so I could connect the trailer to and yeah it all just got like a bit a bit too much faffing around then so I fancied taking the Zix 605R. I knew it had enough, have enough power to just kind of hoist the uh, the truck and the trailer out and there were no real issues and uh, yeah it's been a little while I think since I've used one of these as I've been like rotating through the different trucks. I've still got one or two uh, yeah trucks left to use but We'll see if I ever get around to them or not. <laughs> it depends depends if the missions happen first or if that next phase comes out or what's going on. And uh, yeah, like I say, this uh, cutting along here, I could have yeah, kind of gone the way that I'm going to drive back basically, but just to save doubling back on myself, I wanted to go this way, kind of flying across the countryside, so it was another good reason to take the Zix with me. And in theory, I didn't bother, but you can... Uh, when I tried starting the engine of the truck I was towing, it just keeps turning the engine back off, so it must either be damaged or out of fuel. I did actually have enough between the loaf, this goddamn horse, and uh, the roof rack on top of the Zix. I could have fixed it all up, really, I suppose, and it probably would have made things a little bit easier if it was driving behind me. I was also curious with this Zix. Um, I've got the saddle high on it, which you can't have a saddle low on this, but uh, I've also got like that truck supplies thing attached to the back of the Zix where you got like the spare wheel and a some box with uh, more repairs in it and I was curious to see uh, the trailer that you've got to rescue is like the it's like the heavy flatbed or something it's like the big fat chunky flatbed trailer uh, five slot trailer I just wasn't sure if once I connect it if the front of the trailer would actually start hitting that supply box or not which it didn't in the end or not as far as I noticed anyway so uh, yeah, that happens every now and then with a couple of trucks. I just thought I'd uh, see if it would happen with this one or not. So this is, uh, yeah, to the airport. I, again, I wasn't really using roads at this point. Comes me a pair of dolphins and loafs. And then what's that truck? I see a loaf. Oh, the Voron Grad. Still want that helicopter as well. I think we've earned it. We've opened an airport. It's the least we deserve. So just about to cut their bloody tree stumps. At least they are the old school ones. <laughs> so I could actually tell they were there. Sweep round, kill a tree. It's good for morale. And yeah, instead of following like the road out of the airport, normally just fly off the end here. Sure, was it now? Yeah, I got. Well, not crazy stuck, but it must be like my front bumper scuffing on a rock and it was not moving. Like I said, I quite like water sections. I wish they'd uh, add more anyway. I still would like to see a map that was like that, uh, flooded or deluge or whatever it's called, depending which version of uh, Mud Runner or Spin Tires and all that back in the day. But yeah, that map was like mostly flooded and that was a uh, quite interesting crossing that one. Trying to figure out the way to go so you don't drown your vehicle. And I suppose it is one of them. It's probably a little bit of a one-trick pony in the sense 
once you figured out the way to go, it was kind of, you can't unknow it, <laughs> so you just knew which way to go from then. But still, overall it was, uh, it was a pretty, pretty cool map. Whereas, uh, I suppose on this map, I mean, we've got obviously river crossings, but anywhere that we're supposed to cross on the river, they just kind of turn it into super mud and death mud, and uh, or put like a dead tree in the way, and do it that way, whereas, yeah, that's quite a lot of the time why I just cut across and cross a river kind of wherever I choose a place, really, where the uh, devs haven't kind of fiddled with the mechanics and sort of tried to make it harder than it was. <laughs> yeah, again definitely what she said. And uh, yeah, it's ended up being a pretty quick little simple mission in the end. I actually, before I started getting the footage for this, I um, I finished getting the footage for the damage evaluation contract. And uh, yeah, I'll see with that one. <laughs> I'm kind of 80% sure I'll make a video on it, but I really didn't fancy editing it tonight. I thought it'd probably take a little while because I've got to go all through my footage to find where I uh, got the footage from the other week to kind of yeah, piece it all together. It's probably going to be a bit of a long mission as well. I was also looking through, I don't think there is any missions or contracts rather that are locked that I'd need to complete damage evaluation before I'm allowed to move on to the others. Like there was some, uh, this cutting losses I believe was one of them, was like chicken coop and a few others but um, yeah, I think in theory I'm sure, it, oh no, maybe there was actually, maybe I'm thinking of that like hot potatoes, which again it keeps trying to offer me, but I don't really know whether I'll do the footage on that one in the end, because well it's going to be the farming, which I'll end up editing most of that out, just so you don't watch me drive up and down a field 30 or 40 times in a tractor, and then uh, yeah, I suppose it's just like running the potato samples down to the, uh, the crossroads map. There, by the way, there was just another checkpoint, uh, not checkpoint, like a mission box nearby called Important Cargo. The funny thing was though, when I actually selected that mission to activate it, you can see in the background two lots of cargo containers appeared on the map. And not that it really matters, I suppose, because um, that workaround with like where you got to build the cabins uh, to just to spawn them with that special delivery uh, contest on the Heartlands is probably quicker. But yeah, I just kind of figured that is actually another way that you probably could get the uh, cargo containers, just poach them from here. And then I assume if you kind of restart the mission, it'd make them pop. Uh, up on the map again. And yeah, you can see this is the trailer, the big fat heavy like saddle high version of the trailer. It was pretty damn easy to flip out of there though. And then the truck, I think it's a Royal BM17 thing, so not like particularly heavy, especially not a... Uh, well, that's where the Zix would have come in handy. Like I said, I could have brought a crane and kind of done it all properly, but looking how simple it was just to winch them and flip them over, I think it would have been kind of, yeah, a bit, a bit overdone. Gotta check them thumbnails, <laughs> I never know which I'm gonna pick. And then yeah, now just gotta trek back over the map really towards back towards the garage, but yeah, to this little warehouse. Well, I don't actually dislike this map, it's alright, but it feels a little bit I wouldn't really say out of place. It just doesn't feel like it particularly flows with all the other maps. Like, yeah, the garage is just off in the top corner and it sort of doesn't really join with the map very well. Uh, this one warehouse that I'm heading to now is just kind of like one of the main places on the map. There's not really a, a hell of a lot else going on. But yeah, overall, like I said, I don't dislike the map. I think the views and all that look pretty nice. There's, uh, yeah, various river crossings to do. This, I'm not keen on it, it's obviously not just this map, the bloody trees they put in the way. And you can see big wooden posts sticking up either side, so it's not really like you can cut round. And it was going well. I don't have a clue right now what I'm actually caught on. Unless it's the legs from the, like, near the front of the trailer just behind my truck, but it doesn't really seem like there should be anything. Yeah, I don't even think it's the legs of the trailer, because you can't really see them sinking below the waterline or anything. So it's probably the back of the trailer. Again, maybe catching on that, like, tree root thing, even though it's kind of sort of an invisible hitbox at that point, where it's not really lined up with the actual tree itself. I had a feeling this would happen. I, uh, When I winched to the truck, I've kind of winched over, as I'm looking now, the left-hand side of my trailer, and then kind of took the winch point on the truck that makes it drive out to the side of me. Thankfully I was able to just reverse, shove the 
trailer into the truck, move it back a little bit, switch the winch, winch points over just so I can drag the truck where it like sits within the line my uh, my trailer's going. And we got over there. I've already built the log bridge kind of over this section as well, which is probably worth doing if you're going to do this mission. Especially with how easy that got caught. So you've got that horse. That is an OG loaf. It's painted grey. Trying to uh, imitation OG loaf. I was quite surprised now as well. As you can see, I'm driving along. I'm in auto gears, but it wasn't really liking that. Dropped me down to first. Put it up into high, and even that was just like, yeah. I don't know if it's because the trailer's really heavy. Again, that truck I'm towing um, is broken or whatever. I've not got the engine turned on at the minute. So you're kind of towing that as dead weight, but yeah. I always thought the, uh, the Zik 605R had a bit more oomph to it. It was one thing I always liked about it, even though it's not the quickest, because it's got like the advanced special gearbox and stuff, but you used to kind of, yeah, be able to drop the hammer and, uh, albeit pretty slowly, like it power its way through in high gear and that pretty well, but it's not liking it these days. I notice it takes quite a bit of engine damage as well. It's not the end of the world because it has actually got quite a lot of engine health. But every time you take damage, it kind of you can see the engine inside the truck and it sits up pretty high. So I don't know how it's taking all the damage when you click like the front bumper and stuff. But again, we've got plenty of repair. Well, we've got even more now, yeah, because I've got that little truck supply thing on the back of it. So once you build up to speed, now I'm in like fifth gear and that, it's ticking along quite nicely, but yeah, there was a few times I kind of thought it slowed me down a bit quicker than it probably should. But again, that comes back to where I think like they've just, the overall nerf, like the terrain and the roads you're going along, so I think at that point it kind of takes the emphasis off like whatever truck you use and it'll, they all just get hampered by like the same general mechanics of the road or map you're on which yeah I personally I'm not a fan of it because it just kind of makes a lot of the vehicles seem very samey they whatever like way they've been powered and all the rest of it it sort of takes that out of the equation and they all just feel like they suffer the same kind of slowness or whatever's going on so I won't hold my breath from changing it but it'd be pretty nice if they did or at least if they just didn't yeah, code the maps to be as insane. At some point soon as well, someone reminded me the other day, I still need to do the uh, review videos for some of the Wolfpack trucks. Which is the nice thing about that, I'll yeah, go back onto the, uh, the original maps, so we'll get some more bright sunny days, and kind of more normal behaving roads. So even now it felt like it was struggling a little bit as well. Pinned, fingers crossed. Got over there though, to its credit, it's uh, not too bad at that sort of stuff, like climbing over. I could have carried on following the road, but it just kind of swears round to the south end of the map a little bit, and I don't know, just kind of like going as the crow flies <laughs> as short a distance as possible. And then yeah, you can see the garage, or oh, warehouse or whatever in the distance I've got to take it to. And yeah, I don't know why they've staged the mission where at the minute it says only deliver the truck. Got a good old wheelie going on then. Um, yeah, that seems pretty pointless. I certainly wouldn't recommend like towing the truck all the way back in and then going back for the trailer. And obviously one way or another you're definitely best off taking a saddle high to attach the trailer to because if you tried dragging this trailer without it being attached to a truck the trailer legs would be deployed and all that and be digging in like crazy. You just seen when I went over that sort of jump there, the trailer legs dug in and made the truck that I'm towing sort of jump in the air, so yeah, without that it'd be a bit of a disaster I reckon. I was gonna go in that way. <laughs> That's what she said. Um but yeah, there's it would be too much wiggling around with the trailer. So 
so sod it. It's rare, but I'll ignore the waypoints I drew. Triangle nice and wide, but I probably clipped the inside, certainly the truck did. And then, yeah, you've got to drop it off here. As soon as I drive into the square, it doesn't really do a lot, but when I carried on forward, it sort of... It was too quick to really see what was going on. It kind of uh, must have accepted the truck first, because that was like the first stage of the mission. And then instantly switched to the second stage, and then instantly cashed that one in. And, uh, yeah, there's the mission done. It's about seven-odd grand or something, which is actually not too bad, because, funny enough, doing that uh, damage evaluation contract earlier, which was a right pain in the ass. that was only about nine or ten grand for that contract, which I think was a right rip-off. And then now it kind of dumps these two kind of in the way, which I don't know how much more I'm going to need to use this warehouse. And then, yeah, when I was I was trying to ram the Royal BM-17 into the trailer and just shove them into the corner, but the uh, physics mechanics, like, it must be too far away at that point, so it just sort of locks the trailer in place, because you can see there, when I nudge the trailer itself, it's fine, but when I try and do a bit of a bit of snooker, it's not too happy about it. And it doesn't even give us the truck either. It's one of them again where it's just going to sit there doing nothing. Obviously the trailer, if you want, we could kind of borrow, <laughs> in quotes. Because um, it can't really stop us kind of using that. But yeah, I'd, at this point I'd rather it either just makes the truck vanish. Or let us have the truck, if nothing else. So we could either recover it to the garage. Or just at least move it out of the way. But yeah, anyway, uh, that's that one done. That's about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreon members. Get yourself a loaf because he's a goddamn professional. And I'll be back soon.